Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Career Development and Alumni Interview Series. Uh, my name is Mike Tirago. I'm one of the directors here in the Center for Career and Professional Development. Uh, and I'm lucky to have an alumni here who uh, currently works within our marketing, PR, and fashion career community. Um, more specifically, who's here to discuss her career in the, the market, marketing industry thus far. So, Nicole, thank you for taking the time uh, today to, to educate our students uh, on your background and kind of how you got to be in the role you're currently working in. So, uh, just to maybe start us off, um, um, with a little introduction to Gold Mine, telling us a little bit about yourself. Sure, thank you so much for having me and thinking of me. Um, my name is Nicole Gittleman, as you said. I graduated undergrad Sacred Heart in 2015. Um, I was very involved while I was there in student government and Greek life and all sorts of other organizations and kicked off my career, as you said, working in really digital marketing. Um, and have been in this space for about almost six years now since my graduation. Can't believe it's 2021 already. <laughs> um, yeah, and I've had, you know, worked in a variety of different types of organizations, um, you know, on a, a variety of different types of sort of marketing functions as well, which has been really interesting and exciting. Cool, thank you. So, um, you know, just kind of taking us through or thinking about kind of your day to day, um, you know, kind of what your day to day looks like. So maybe just briefly walk us through if you can, um, a little bit more of exact kind of what you're doing right now. You know, what does an average day look like for you? And um, again, maybe discussing kind of like your day to day responsibilities, um, you know, with kind of the, again, your current role and kind of what, what everything looks like right now. Sure. So you actually reached out at such an interesting time because I, as of literally earlier this year, 2021, uh, went on my own and started my own marketing consultancy. So very exciting news. It's something that I've thought about for a long time, arguably maybe since I've graduated. Um, finally got to this point this year and I'm excited to share a little bit about what my day-to-day -day looks like. But to back up to um, just to you know share some context, I started out working for a digital marketing agency, helping brands build their, you know, community on social media, which back in 2015 was <laughs> really, you know, the first time that these jobs were introduced to the world. I mean, I remember not even kidding, telling a family friend, you know, what I was doing in my day to day back then and them being just shocked that I was <laughs> tweeting and posting for brands because it was so new at the time. And obviously, you know, it has since exploded and the rise of influencer marketing and leveraging, you know, social media creators, um, you know, to, to bring your brand more visibility and engagement is the name of the game now. So I spent years at different agencies and startups supporting brands through social media activations, through partnerships, um, creating different stories, right? That's what marketing really is, um, to me at least. It's telling brand stories or company stories um, in ways that are going to excite that brand's intended audience. And so after years of working, working at these different agencies, you know, I gained so many different skills. I gained creative skills, the ability to come up with really unique uh, marketing campaigns. I gained analytical skills, having to look at, you know, the performance of, you know, how social pages and websites were doing, um, communication skills, working with my clients, working with my team members. Um, you know, I think <laughs> there's so much more client service in the marketing industry than I think a lot of people might recognize. And so all that to be said that, you know, a few months back, I was in a, a, a job that just wasn't really satisfying me. It wasn't the right cultural fit, which is, you know, really important. Mm -hmm. And I just recognized that I had over the past six years amassed all of the skills that I needed to do this on my own. And so what I do now and what my day to day looks like is I work with small and right now local businesses. I live in Jersey City in, in New Jersey, right by Manhattan. And I help, you know, these businesses figure out how to solve their goals through marketing. So, you know, sometimes that looks like a real estate company trying to figure out ways to get more heads in beds and, you know, sell apartments. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And, you know, that, that turns into me coming up with creative content ideas and working with local publications to, again, increase their visibility. Sometimes that's working with a pet care company that's looking for more dogs to, to walk. Um, and so figuring out how to reach pet owners in Hoboken and Jersey City and, you know, doing so through social media. Um, so my day to day is really focused on solving the issues of small businesses through marketing. It's a lot of meeting with my clients, a lot of sitting and writing and ideating and researching what other similar brands or companies are doing and uh, you know, staying on the curve of just digital marketing in general and reading publications to learn what new feature Instagram is coming out with this week. 
Sure, great. Thank you for that. And I'm going to actually um, kind of change up a little bit on our script here and actually just, um, you know, have questions just to kind of transition right into this. So, um, you know, again, I think nowadays starting your own business and kind of the entrepreneurship track is becoming so popular, especially here at Sacred Heart. And, um, you know, I think like you're so, you're so brave, obviously, to kind of just, you know, leave your job and kind of go out on your own. And I think, you know, the nice thing is, well, the nice thing for you specifically was kind of like that was, you know, by choice. And I think right now in kind of this COVID world, sometimes it's, um, it's not by choice for people, but I think your story is so, um, I just think it's so timely, but also just so, um, kind of inspiring um, just because also like, you know, you get people that maybe have lost their job due to COVID and they're like, okay, well now what do I do? You know, they're down on their luck, they're down on their hopes, they're thinking that there's not much they can do until they get a new job. Um, so again, it kind of just shows you that, you know, if, even if you're not working at like, you know, a company that you necessarily like think of like the traditional job that there's definitely still certainly the, the bandwidth out there, um, you know, to kind of go off on your own. So I, again, I kind of just want you to kind of talk a little bit more about, um, you know, kind of the challenges, suggestions, advice that maybe you have, yeah. um, you know, someone that kind of just went through this for, for those students um, and, and maybe even recent alumni that are looking to, to maybe start their own business. Yeah, absolutely. And I have to give a quick shout out, actually, because a good friend of mine that I graduated from Sacred Heart with in 2015, the same month, also decided to start his own business. And so okay. you're totally right. It's happening everywhere. I think, you know, essentially what led me to this point was just recognizing that there are certain types of projects that bring me a lot of joy. And mm -hmm. I, really, I really believe that as people, <laughs> right, we, you know, we should live, we shouldn't live to work. We should no, absolutely. live. And so, you know, for me, what, what sort of pushed me into making this leap, uh, to be very frank, is just a real sense of unhappiness in mm -hmm. the jobs that I've been in. You know, this marketing environment right now is so chaotic because of the environment that the world is in. Yeah. You know, brands don't know how to speak to consumers. Um, consumer mindset is shifting so frequently. And, you know, two years ago, nobody would have cared, you know, if the brand that they wore, you know, their favorite clothing brand was giving back to the community and was sustainable, but now they do, right? And so being able to just help brands genuinely solve their problems versus sell them whatever my company was selling them at the time mm -hmm. is really what pushed me to do this and make that decision. And it certainly is scary and it certainly <laughs> is risky. Um, and it's, you know, I will say that the challenges I've learned even in this short period of time on my own have taught me so much about myself. So one of the things that I find to be very challenging, and for those of you who maybe know me, uh, might not be surprised, is working independently means that you don't have a coworker right next to you that you can bounce an idea off of. So suddenly I'm in, you know, this sort of silo by myself working and ideating and coming up with ideas. And so, um, you know, the advice that I would give to sort of solve that challenge is to make sure that you've got a really strong network of like-minded professionals that you can tap into for that support when you do, you know, since you don't have that coworker, is it a friend that you used to work with? Is it, you know, someone from college that's in the same industry? I think having a community that you can sort of lean on is so important as an individual entrepreneur. Uh, the other thing that I would say is really challenging. And I think honestly, college, my college experience is what has set me up for success in, in this area is time management. I mean, you know, oftentimes when you're working at a, a corporate job or, you know, any type of job, you are beholden to the schedule of that organization. You're joining weekly calls, monthly calls, dailies, whatever it is. I create my own schedule now, which is a beautiful thing, uh, but it, it can be challenging, you yeah. know, when you wake up on a Monday and it's rainy and you know, you can, I don't know, watch a movie <laughs> and work late that night. Um, yeah. But is that the best thing for, for your business, right? So having a lot of self-discipline um, over your time and, you know, over your to-do list is definitely a challenge, um, but I think a good challenge. Yeah, no, great. Absolutely. And again, you kind of touched on, right, like how how, you know, some of those skills that you learned at Sacred Heart, again, time management, things like that. And you, you know, me knowing you and your undergrad, and I guess we were undergrads together probably at one point, but me knowing, you know, that we were on, uh, when, when we were undergrads, when I was a GA and you were, uh, you know, student government president, and again, you were so involved and, and so well at kind of, um, you know, again, really taking advantage of the college experience. So this is 
probably a tougher question for you maybe to answer than, than other students, just because again, you were so involved and you really did make sure to take advantage of, of everything that Sega Heart had to offer. But, you know, I guess looking back at your time at Sega Heart, you know, is there anything, um, and again, maybe this is more on the academic side, if you kind of want to go in that area, because usually the, 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 the saying is, you know, people want to say, oh, I, I want to get involved more, but I don't think you possibly could have, you were spread so thin. I would have, um, I would have uh, died if I joined any more organizations, I think. Yeah. I just, so, out. <laughs> yeah. so like, I guess what, you know, if there's anything you could have gone back and, and yeah. done, or, and again, knowing kind of where you're at now and, and looking back at your sake, our experiences, you know, are there things that you would have done differently, done over again, you know, is there anything that you can pinpoint and say, you know, or again, maybe just one piece of advice for those students that are obviously within their kind of college experience now, kind of what are your, what are your thoughts yeah. on? Absolutely. So I think, you know, all of the organizations that I was a part of, I was in student government, I was mm -hmm. in Greek life, I yep. played club volleyball for years, you know, obviously I was interacting with other members of the Sacred Heart community and oftentimes put in positions where I had to speak to large groups or chat with, you know, the board of directors of the university who are very important people, <laughs> and, you know, was put in, in these sort of challenging positions that really stretched my uh, comfort zone. Sure. So to start positively, I would say, yes, get involved. I was very involved. I don't regret it for one minute. I was, you know, oftentimes busy. I wasn't the girl partying on a Tuesday, but, mm -hmm. you know, I'm so grateful for the experience that I crafted for myself. And um, I think, you know, to my point, you know, interacting with your community is, is something that you do the rest of your life. And so learning how to interact with, again, those, you know, <laughs> learning how to treat the janitor like you treat, you know, Dr. Patillo is so mm -hmm. important. And I think Sacred Heart really pushes that yeah. sort of ideology when you join organizations, you know, you treat all members of that organization with mutual respect, whether they are running it or they're just a volunteer member. And so that experience really shaped who I am and how I interact with my clients and my coworkers and, and all of that. The one thing I will say is I do feel like I regret not being a student ambassador because mm -hmm. I, everything that I do, everything that, I mean, everyone at the end of the day is a salesperson. I really yeah. believe, right. I'm yeah. selling oh, my services now. I'm, you know, I'm was selling services at previous companies, you know, yeah. my friends that work in physical therapy and nursing are selling their, their themselves, you know, yeah. as like a, a service provider. So yeah. I do wish I joined student ambassadors because I think I could have maybe amped up my sales skills even more, uh, especially under the, you know, the leadership of, of Rob Gilmore over there. But yeah. um, other than that, you know, I'm, I'm really proud of the experience that I built for myself outside of the classroom. You know, I took as many classes as I can that were really digitally focused. I think the curriculum now is probably, yeah. So much better than it, than what it was, you know, at the time, because frankly, like I said, the, the digital sort of yeah. explosion of social media was only just happening when we were in college. So, um, you know, my biggest regret was maybe being a little old and not, uh, <laughs> not being able to take advantage of some of the really great courses, you know, that I've seen Sacred Heart offer since, um, you know, the other thing I would say is I took a lot of really random, uh, elective classes, mm -hmm. which, seems kind of silly and random, but it really just stretched my knowledge, which I appreciated. Yeah. You know, I mentioned before I'm working with a real estate developer and a pet care company and a beauty company and maybe an acupuncture company soon. So I'm thinking and ideating and talking about all sorts of random topics that I am certainly not an expert in. And so I think just, you know, the idea of keeping really sharp by, you know, reading different kinds of publications and watching different types of shows is, you know, how I do that now. But back in school, it was, you know, taking women in the workplace and Eastern religions and just thinking about all different random, random topics. Yeah, well, great. Well, I could, I, I mean, I, I know I could probably sit here and talk to you for a couple more hours, <laughs> honestly. I just, I really enjoy um, kind of hearing your story and kind of, again, just just hearing how, um, you know, happy kind of you are right now, you know, or, or in the place you are kind of right now. Um, but we'll probably, um, you know, call it an afternoon or call it a late morning for now. Um, so again, Nicole, thank you so much for for your time today. I really appreciate kind of the insight and the kind of um, just little showcase kind of you, 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 you talked about kind of with your story. And, um, you know, again, I, I'm sure this won't be the last we'll see from you. I, I would definitely love to get you involved in other things we do here. So again, thank you for your time today. I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, thanks again. I'm in charge of my own schedule now. So sign up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nicole. Thank you.